Hey guys, in today's session we're going to be introducing a new piece of equipment which is the resistance band, this little chap here. I'm going to take you through some nice basic movements so you can build confidence all at your own pace. Okay guys, the first exercise we're going to do is a resistance band lateral raise, so we're going to introduce this lovely little bit of kit. The best thing to do with a resistance band is to put it flat down on the floor, place one foot on and the other foot. You can put your feet together to start off with and then shuffle to a nice shoulder width apart position. Okay, so we're now in the kind of squat position. From here, if we breathe in, we can dip down. As we breathe out, we're gonna come up and laterally raise the arms. So let's breathe in on the way down, out as you come up. Hands should come more or less in line with the shoulders, that should be the end position. Okay, you ready? Now we're going to go for around about 10 repetitions guys, but those of you at home who are sort of struggling to get it up as high, don't worry, just go to your sort of maximal range of motion. We'll build strength throughout the weeks of the programme. Okay, Suze. So you're in position, and up you come. Good, that's it. You don't need to come so high. You just come up to here, that's great. Good stuff. You feel that starting to work, the outer aspect of your shoulders? Yeah. Good. How are we getting on over here, Jay? You all right? Now you see Jay obviously being slightly taller, he's gone for a slightly wider stance. I say the taller you are, the better you are at having a wider stance. Keep your pelvis nice and straight as you go down to that squat position. Keep good spine alignment. Excellent. Keeping the knees nice and over the toes. Cool. Okay, we're all done? Yeah. Great, so the next one we're gonna do is a floor-based exercise. So we shall take it down here. It's gonna be what's called a push plank. So I'll get into position and do a quick demo. So starting in the plank position, I'm gonna push up on the right hand, return back down, and then alternate, come up the left hand, and return back down. Okay. Just take it nice and slow, guys. Try not to rush it. Just a little hold when we get to the top of the movement and then swap back down. Okay, Jay? Coming up. Really keep that tailbone pushing down and forward. That's it, keep the abs nice and strong. If we draw the belly button in slightly towards the spine, that will really help support and stabilize our lower back. Good, Susie. You all right? Yeah. Just keep your back nice and aligned, that's it. A little bit of tension in there. <laughs> Just a bit. Good. Okay guys, we're going to try and go for around about five each side. Don't worry if you don't get to the full ten. Just have a little breather and pick up where you left off. How many more, Jay? That's it. That's it? Yeah. Great. Well done, Suze. Fantastic. Good. Okay, so going back to the resistance band, so the next movement we're going to do is a static bicep lunge. So again, I'm just going to lay the resistance tube down, so for this time, just the one foot forward in that lunge position and the other leg behind in a split stance. So you're on the toes of the back foot. Putting the hands into a bicep kind of half curl movement, but keeping them there. We're gonna sink down, come up. Keeping the arms locked in that position. You should feel tension going through the front of your bicep. Okay, let's give it a go. All right, so it's just like a lunge set for incorporating a resistance band. They're coming to there. All right, so, so keeping yeah. your arms in that position. You ready? Yeah. Breathe in, sink down, nice and low. Come up, good. Come down, good, Jay. As you can see, Jay's keeping his arms a little bit higher, so it's contracting the bicep even more so. If you're starting to really feel that tuck in, you can just bring your arms a little bit lower. Take the emphasis off the bicep put more onto the uh, forearm as well. Cool, changing over. So again guys, around about six repetitions each side's good. Okay, Sue, you ready? Yeah. Drop down, keep nice and upright. And up you come, good. See the arm starting to come through nicely already? <laughs> starting to burn, good. Excellent stuff guys, hang in there, keep it going. Nice and controlled. Fantastic, good, good man. Okay, and 
the next one we're going to do is a resistance band squat to press. Great exercise, it's kind of an all round body movement exercise. Working the legs, working the shoulders, touching the back of the arms. Real good all round exercise. So getting back into the initial position we were in at the start by putting both feet together and then shuffling one foot out, shuffling the other foot out. We're gonna keep the grip forward, so as opposed to this behind. I'm gonna keep the band in front, so the tension's here. And as we go down, we're going to extend the arms and come up. Okay, cool. Let's go. That's it, Jay. So feet together and then just shuffle out slightly. Excellent. And if you turn your hand when you come up so the band's facing forwards, perfect. All right. As you come down, just keep it a nice alignment and push up. Now, because of the resistance is forward, guys, you probably feel like you want to kind of go like that. But you can really use your back muscles and shoulders to keep you in that nice alignment, as Susie is showing me here. <laughs> Good, Sus. Where do you predominantly feel that? What was it? In my arms. In your arms, yeah? yeah. So the legs are all right at this stage, <laughs> it's just the are. arms. Good. And go up to around about 10 repetitions. Good, Jay. Keeping a very serious face throughout. All right, fantastic, well done. Okay, so the next movement we're gonna go on to is the upright row. So again, laying the resistance tube down, both feet in the middle, shuffle out, left and right, or whatever takes your fancy first. And then coming up nice and upright, just a slight bend in the knees. We're gonna lift the hands up so that your hands come in level with your collarbone, and then return back down. Okay, cool. So one foot in front of the other, step out, put your hands this way. I'm just gonna leave with your elbows. That's it, just to there. Okay, if you feel that's too hard, so you don't have to come as high, just come as high as you, you feel you can. Just to there is great. Yeah. You feel a bit of tension in this area here when you come up? Yeah. Yeah, just, just a little bit? Just a bit. Yeah, good stuff. How are you doing here, Jay? Yeah, I'm feeling it a lot in my shoulders. You're getting it around this area, mate? That's it. Excellent, good stuff. Let's keep it nice, slow and controlled. Up to 10 repetitions, guys, if we can. Fantastic. How many more to go, Suze? You going uh, for the full 10 today? Great, I think. <laughs> yeah, full 10. Yeah? Lovely. <laughs> Brilliant, good work. Fantastic. OK, if we put the... Um, Bands down a sec. I'm just going to show you the first one again. So again, just to recap nice and quickly, feet together. Just make sure you get the resistance tube right under your feet. So just past the balls of your feet. Stepping out. And then nice squat position. Come down, breathe in, breathe out as you raise up. Breathe in, breathe out as you raise up. Great, let's go. So see, then one foot out at a time. You all right there? Yeah. And a few technical <laughs> footing uh, problems just there. A bit. <laughs> no rush. Okay, so if you do it, go into the squat for me. Get your shoulders back, chest out, and as you come up, nice raise just to there. Good. Good stuff. As you can see, Susie's keeping good knee alignment. Everything's nice and aligned, nice and controlled. Excellent. Good. Good, Jay. So really try and squat as low as you can. You see Jay's going really nice and low, he's going below 90, which is great. Really working those shoulder muscles, not to mention the lower body as well. Good. Again guys, we can do around about 10 repetitions. Naturally this is your second time through, so shoulders, legs, everything else will be starting to really feel it now as your nervous system starts to put the handbrake on. Good. Okay, so we're just gonna lose the resistance band a moment. I'm just going to go back to the half push plank to press, so coming down to the floor for this one. I'm just going to go into this position, which we did earlier. To quickly recap, so right hand up, little hold, come down, and then left hand up, little hold, come back down. Okay. Let's have a look at you, Jay. Let's see the form. You here. Okay. Just draw your belly button in slightly. It's the best way to do this. It really helps 
the lower back. Okay, let's go. We'll go to the right hand first, pushing up, little hold, gear. Back down you come, and the other hand. Fantastic, so just keep that tailbone pushing forward. Really feel this on your abs as well, guys. Excellent, good, nice technique. Around about five repetitions each side's good. You okay, Suze? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, Muddling through nicely, that's <laughs> great, good stuff. Again, as I touched on earlier, generally women will probably fatigue you know, earlier before men. So just take a little breather, relax, maybe have a little stretch off as well, and then go back to it. All done? Yeah. Great, good job guys, well done. Okay, just going back to the third exercise of the circuit. I'm gonna go back into the lunge position. So one foot right in the middle of the resistance band. The other foot goes back onto your toes. It's a nice curled position. More or less like halfway between the moves as opposed to there or there, just in between with both hands. And sinking down, coming back up, sinking down, coming back up. Okay. Jay, Susie, let's see what you've got. <laughs> Your arm's okay? Yeah, they're starting to get a bit tired now. <laughs> right, okay. So if they're starting to get a bit tired, you can just drop your hands a little more, just take the emphasis off okay. the biceps. All right, I'm being nice today. <laughs> let's go, so lower yourself down and come up. Does that help it's not so yeah. full on, yeah? Great. Okay. Jay, are still pretty much full guns blazing. <laughs> Good. Excellent, great posture. Hang in there guys, just a few more repetitions and then we're gonna change legs. All right, great. So over to the other side. Geared Susie, that's it. Nice distances, really stretch out so we feel it. Stretching your hip flexor, muscles that commonly get tired. Everyone seems to sit or commute so often. Good, all right, let's go. So keep nice and upright. That's it, good. So as you can see, Susie's just dropped her arms slightly now as they start to fatigue. That's totally fine. You can keep them up. You're doing well. <laughs> good, Jay. That's it. Fantastic. Okay. So going back to the band. I'm just going to put one foot in again. Just to recap, just shuffle out. Hands to the front. And we're going to breathe in. As we squat down, we're going to push the resistance band above our heads. So... Just like that. Okay, good. Okay guys, so just right under the feet, just make sure it's secured and anchored right under the feet there like Jay's doing. Worth taking the time to do that, we don't want any flicking up instance. Okay, great, so breathe in, down you go. And push. Good. Again, as you can see what Jay's doing, he's really, really trying to keep it nice and upright as he can. So he's really using those fibers of his upper back and also the back of his shoulders to keep him nicely aligned. The resistance band, guys, is gonna to wanna to pull you forward, but try and counteract that by using your back muscles and also core strength as well. Here you go, and so just keep your head up as much as you can. Keep your chin up, so literally. <laughs> yeah, that's it, fantastic. Again, you don't have to go as low. Feel that starting to really hurt, just keep chugging away or even have a break. Okay. Yeah. Okay, lastly guys, we have the upright row. So again, both feet together, one foot to the left, one foot to the right, and we're raising the hands up to the collarbone. Turning back down, nice slow pace, and back up. Great. Okay, so let's just spin the hands around. Keep the wrists nice and straight. Up nice and upright, meeting the queen. Good. Okay, again guys, working around about 10 repetitions today. So if we can hit 10's great. Don't worry if you fall short. Good, so just bring your hands a little closer to you when you're doing that move, so not so far away. Don't be scared of it. Welcome the resistance band in. <laughs> Good. That's better, great. And again, if you're really feeling that, just don't have to bring them so high. Just come up to just below your chest. Or if you're feeling fit, actually lift them <laughs> higher. Good. 
JR still lifts them extremely high. Good man, <laughs> excellent, well done. Okay, your last one or? That's it. That's good. good, good stuff. All right guys, so we can lose the resistance bands, we just put them behind us and we're gonna move into the cardio section. So when you're ready, I'm just gonna do a little demo. So you're gonna take one step out, crunch, step back, step forward with the left foot and crunch over. Okay, give it a whirl. We're gonna work on this for about a minute or so. Okay, you ready guys? So let's go for it, let's go for it now. So if you go for a step and a crunch, good. Excellent, testing everyone's coordination. <laughs> good way to start the day. Even throwing in some bicep curls there, JR. Good start. <laughs> a little wave as well. Or? Yeah, lovely. <laughs> good, Suze. Show them the guns. That's it, lovely. Really try and crunch as much as we can, guys. Really come right the way over. Really work the abdominals. Good, JR. So really bend over, working away. Okay, 30 seconds left, guys. Keep working hard. Just take it nice and steady. If you're really starting to feel this now, which I'm sure you are, just go a little bit lower when you come over. Excellent, so it's good stuff. Keep it going. Okay, just approaching 10 seconds left. How are we doing over here? Warming up. Warming up nicely, <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Excellent, five seconds left, guys. A long five seconds and relax. Good. Well done, everyone. Good stuff. Okay. Feeling all right? Yeah? Great. So the next thing we're going to do is a squat to kick. So what I mean by that is we're going to go into the usual squat position, hands to the front. We're going to go down. As we come up, we're going to kick to the front with the right leg, come down and kick to the front with the left leg. Don't worry if you can't extend your leg, if you haven't got that great flexibility of the hamstring, we can just come down and just do a little hip raise instead. So. I'll leave that one with you. All right, again guys, if we can set the clock to around about a minute or so, that's great, but just do what you can. All right, so breathing in, dropping down, breathing out and raising the leg. Gear, Come down, two, great. That's good, Jay. So keeping nice and upright, nice and controlled. You need something to kick in front of you, don't you? <laughs> For a few balloons. Yeah. You. Or me, yeah, absolutely. Good, guys, it's about 30 seconds left to go. Good. Nice and consistent, Susie. I know your legs aren't getting any lower as we're going on. Soldiering this one out. Nice. <laughs> okay, 15 seconds left, guys. Hang in there, keep going, this is great. Good, Jay. You're starting to smile. He is, he must be liking it. Okay, and last five seconds. Good guys, just a few more repetitions. And relax. Great, well done guys, that's fantastic. Good Jay, good stuff. Okay, so we're gonna do some work on the core now. We do what I call diaphragmatic breathing, which basically works all of the muscles that are attached to your spine. And the way we do this is, I turn sideways, is as we breathe in, the belly should go out. So if you put one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly, as I breathe in, you notice the bottom hand should move and breathe out, I'm drawing my hand in so the chest doesn't move. The chest may move a little bit throughout the uh, last portion of the movement, it's predominantly in the bottom hand here, so. And coming square on. As I breathe in, the belly goes out, fills my hand out with air, and as I breathe out, we draw the belly button in. So making your waist as tiny as we can, making it as big as we can when we expand, so. Okay, we're gonna see if we can do that for around about 30 seconds or so. Now you may get a bit of a dry mouth and out of breath, so just take a break along the way or stop and have some water and carry on. Okay, Jay, so do you wanna go sideways actually? I think it's probably gonna be cool. So if we breathe in, breathe out and really draw your stomach in. Excellent, that's it. And really try and draw that belly button as close to your spine as you can. Perfect. You notice the only hand Jay is moving is the bottom one, the chest hand hardly moves at all. Excellent. As far as you can. That's it. Kiss stuff. We get four inches off your waist in the next ten seconds. <laughs> Good job. Keep going. How are we doing, Susie? Good. Good. Yeah. Excellent. Breathe in. 
Breathe out, that's great. I'm going even further than that. Breathe out, good. Just a few more seconds, guys. Just take your time. It does feel a little bit weird at first, this exercise, as you're kind of doing the opposite to what feels natural. But once you get that rhythm, it doesn't take long to pick up. So, I mean, a good way to do is to breathe out and then push back the other way. So, really push in that way. It gives you some feeling if you put your hands on and kind of get a feel for where you are with it. Okay, that's it, yeah. Good, that'll do for now. Yeah, great. Okay, the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna drop down to the floor. You cross one leg over the other and then put your fingertips on your temple and we're gonna bring the elbow towards your kneecap. So elbow towards knee, as close as you can go. Again, breathe in, breathe out as you come up. Okay, great. Okay, Jason, just try and remember, guys. Try and not let your elbow drop forward. Just try and keep it back so we're actually stretching the chest the whole time. This may, will, will limit your flexibilities. You won't get as close to your knee as you feel you can, but it'll be much more beneficial for you. All right, that's great. So keeping the fingertips on the temples. Let's go from there. Let's bring that elbow towards that knee. I'm gonna go for six repetitions each side, round about there or thereabouts is great. So nice and controlled, just keeping the tongue on the roof of the mouth, guys, as we talked about. Three, good, Susie, nice and controlled. That's it. a little pause at the top as well, it's great. Excellent. How's that feeling? Yeah, that's good. It's starting to burn a little? Yeah. <laughs> good. So we cross your other leg over and let's go with the opposite. Just remember, just don't let the elbow drop forward, just keep it nice and out to the side, guys. Okay, let's go from there. Coming up as much as you can. You should see your t-shirt bending in that direction, guys, if you're doing it right. Okay. Excellent. Good, Jay. Great technique. Okay. Looking good. Great stuff. Well done, Susie. Good job. Good work, guys. I'll see you in the stretching area.